I got that second phone. Watch out. Yeah. Alright, thanks. Yo, I don't know how many of you guys are going to be here right now at 9 o'clock in the morning, but uh, I just thought I'd go live early just to uh, give you my plans and to give you, uh, you know, just like what we're going to do. And also, I don't, uh, I want to make sure, you the car? I want to make sure that uh, we're able to stream just in case the internet is not good uh, driving there. Like, I just don't know. How the internet's gonna be. I looked up a 4G map. All of the things that we're gonna go see have internet in the area, but everything in between does not. And uh, so I'm kind of was like worried. I just, but just, we'll see. I don't know. So well, I'm just gonna go live now and just see when it Fs. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we'll just see what's up. Yeah, we got a jacket on. It's cold as fuck. It's like 40 degrees outside, bro. It's freezing. Well, I mean, it's probably freezing because it's early in the morning, but. Uh, it's all good, yeah. So I think we're gonna F like on the way there. I just showered last night, it's fine. I think we're gonna F on the way there, but uh, I think we'll be able to stream for at least a little bit before we do, and then when we get there, I think we'll have internet. It's just on the way there, I don't think we'll have internet, so we'll see. So our plan for right now is we're gonna go to Old Faithful. That is the, that's the first thing that we're gonna do. We're gonna go to Old Faithful, we're gonna go check it out and see it. We're gonna go, you know, check the geyser out. It's like a giant geyser that's explodes into the sky. After that, we're gonna go to the hot springs, which means we gotta climb, we gotta hike a mountain. And uh, there's like a hot spring like on a mountain and we're gonna, you know, we can go in the hot, we're gonna like go in it, bro. And it's gonna be fucking nice. I mean, I just looked it up and it said you can just go in it. So, I mean, I don't know if it's like, you gotta pay for it or something. I think it's just in nature, bro. I think you just jump in. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the hot spring and then there's some other like little things that, you know, that I saw that we're gonna go to and uh, we're gonna check it all out. And it should be beautiful. I mean, it looks really nice outside. There's mountains everywhere. We're in Jackson right now, so it's very beautiful. It's like a town in between mountains, and it's a little desolate on the mountains. There's not as many trees and stuff, but I think when we actually get to Yellowstone, it will be a lot more beautiful, but it still looks good here, too. Um, people said rich people live here, bro. Nobody, no fucking rich people live here. Like, celebrities and shit, bro. It's like a town of 9,000 people, and it's a bunch of, like, log cabins, dude. But I mean, maybe I'm just not seeing it. I have no idea. Do I have shoes? Yeah, I have sandals with socks on. I have slides with socks on, so that's how I'm staying. Uh, that's how I'm staying warm, dude. It's very hot water. Well, we'll see. I I need some hot water, dude. Honestly, but uh, yeah. So I mean, we'll. I'm, I'm excited about this. Yellowstone's gonna be super fucking beautiful. Stevie yeah. said, uh, "You've never seen the like naturistic landscapes like this, have you?" Um, no. Like, in person, no, but like in videos and shit, yeah, of course. So this is gonna be a new experience for you? Yeah, actually, because like, when we finally woke up early and we saw outside of our, like, hotel, like, it looked fucking nice. You see the little, the, the pine cone trees and like, the mountain has trees along it and it's like pretty cool. You don't see that in Texas at all, so it's like, it's Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm excited, bro. I bet Yellowstone's gonna look so good. I just hope we can find a hotel that's not four hundred dollars. Dude, I don't know. Are they all four hundred? They're all four hundred dollars. Yeah, it's not looking too hot. I think what we're gonna have to do is get an Airbnb in your name, because I can't get one. But I'll send you the money. Because Airbnb might be cheaper. It, in fact, it will be cheaper. I know it will. We have to look now, then. You should look on your phone now. Look, check Airbnb and just look up Yellowstone. Just see what there is. Cause I guarantee you, it's we can find shit that's not four hundred dollars. We should find it off stream. Well, yeah, but can you just, I'm not gonna show them. We just look so we can see what. Well, I'm not gonna show the stream where you're looking at. We're at some like we're at some really uh, really interesting like uh, like burrito place right now. So we're gonna get some nice uh, burritos for breakfast. My fucking ass like uh, sour cream and cheese and stuff. 
find a nice place. Yeah, let's find like a log cabin that's like a hundred dollars in the mountains next to the hot spring. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, I need my coffee, my early morning coffee right now. Oh yeah, hold on, I got some. I got three things of Splenda because there's no sugar, but. Sometimes coffee is better than Red Bull to get you up because it's hot, but it's too hot right now. I can't drink this shit until it cools down. You don't put cream? Oh yeah, cream. Campsites are cheap, only 500 a night. Is a campsite really 500 a night? We're gonna get a lot of for a hundred dollars. We're gonna see what there is, bro. Why some, would you, of them, some of them are really cheap. That's what I'm saying. Well, yeah, why would you spend 500 for a campsite? That's fucking whack. I'll just go camp in the woods for free, dude. Wait a minute. What? These are cheap because they're like private rooms. I need to fix this. What do you mean? Yeah, private room. We're going to have to share it with the owner for it to be cheap. That's fun. No. I mean, yo, fucking. I mean, if it's like a big log cabin, it's okay, right? You're at Yellowstone? Not yet. Three hours from it. Somewhere 200 a night I checked. 200 a night is still fucking. Like, what about, what about 70 a night, bro? I'm looking for like 70 or lower. This one's good. Let me see. Don't read it. I'm not. Don't read the price either. I'm not, I'm not. I'm so hungry. Oh, no, we're gonna be eating good. Sounds good, right? Is this Yellowstone? I, I think so. I searched Yellowstone. It's looking up. How can we see where it is on the map? Uh, let's see where this is. This place has a lot of bamboo. I don't have any bamboo. It's nowhere near Yellowstone. Or maybe it is. No, it is. But it's in a whole nother state. <laughs> Yellowstone's big, huh? So we're here. That's where that is. But we need to go. Fucking, where, where are we going? I think we're going. This map's bad. I don't know. I think we're going like over here. Damn. I could be wrong though. I don't. I don't fucking know. And it's your job to find it. So I don't know where we're going. Yo, give me those lemons, chat. Uh. Yeah. I mean, maybe we can do that one. See how far of a drive it is. That place to Old Faithful. Can you map it? Mm -hmm. You know the city it was in, right? I didn't see when I closed the app. I don't know how to help me. That's what I look up? Yeah. I just whispered. Type it in, I don't understand. You didn't hear what I said? Oh, that's what I thought you said. It just didn't make any sense. No, no, hold on. Where's your map? Where's your map right there? Maps? I don't have the old Airbnb though. I closed it. Yeah. We'll find it again, don't worry. I How'd... like this hoodie on you. It yeah. Nice. It's fucking hot. Alright, so that Airbnb is six hours from Old Faithful. Yeah, right, dude. Oh, that's in, uh, that's, that's not the right state. Hold up. There's many. Hold on. Okay, it's only four hours. No. <laughs> What's up, King? How you doing? Yo, if anyone knows of any good old good old places to stay in Yellowstone, it's not five hundred dollars. You let me know. Yeah, I know, Nick. If anyone's got a house in Yellowstone that wants us to stay there, hey, let let your boy know. I know that's unlikely, but you know, I'm fine, King. Just uh, you know, need my coffee here to wake up, and then. Uh, Making our way to good old, good old, old faithful Yellowstone. You won't get close or booked in advance. Well, we might be sleeping in a tent on the side of the road then. Y'all want to sleep in a tent? <laughs> Fuck no. You know, it's all about camping, Stevie G. Sure. That's what Yellowstone camping. Yeah, when there's fucking like, I don't know, fucking wolves or like coyotes and like bears and shit. Ah, there's no wolves. Maybe bears and coyotes and pigs and stuff. 
But camping, that's what it's all about. Camping is fun. Yeah, in the forest, on a mountain, maybe a big Bigfoot comes by, a fucking a so mountaineer nice. with it's like... It's so nice and fun, but then once a fucking bear starts mauling you alive, then you're going to see why. <laughs> no, bro, the bear, we got a stick, bro. I'll throw the stick, I'll, I'll poke it with a stick so it can't fucking... Dude, that shit's going to destroy you. It's going to mutilate you. No, nah, or you know what you do with the bear. You, you make yourself bigger than the bear and it goes away. That's what they say. I'll just put it in a chokehold. <laughs> Give it a bear hug. That's what I'm saying. There's nothing to be afraid of. I mean, I definitely, I just don't want to spend $500 for a fucking hotel room. That's not happening. I already spent a bunch of money last night. Don't want to do it again. Because then we, we still have to drive home. And I don't want to spend a bunch of money. But I guess we'll see. Hopefully this breakfast is good. I've never had a burritos for breakfast. It's not closed. What? Sometimes my work brings us breakfast tacos. They're pretty good. Yeah, but this is just normal tacos. That's true. Say at an RV park in the car. Mm, no, we're not going to do that. That sounds fucking whack, and the car smells like shit. I think we're going to just, I don't know, bake some donos with Kim in the hot springs, and then we'll get the hotel. I, I don't know, maybe it was just, you know, I mean, five, hey, somebody's over donuts at 500, Kim will twerk for 30 seconds. Five yeah, you will. Or we're sleeping in a car. Car stream. I'm just kidding, dude. Don't worry. I'm just fucking kidding. Why does the car smell so bad? It's just because all of us have been sitting in it for three days. We've just been stewing in it. And it's just, yeah, the BO and the farts and the poops and the <laughs> fucking peas and the, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just smells like shit, dude. We're not pooping and peeing in the car, by the way. Nah, but it's just like, it's the methane and the CO2 that is, so, that is like circling the air in the car, dude, from the windows being closed. Lots of people drive to Jackson after their day in Yellowstone. Yeah, but Jackson's fucking expensive as shit. I wasn't being completely honest with you guys yesterday about the price because I didn't want people to know what hotel we were fucking staying at. But bro, it was it was about $300 for a Motel 6. And it was the shittiest room ever. So Jackson Hole is not the town we're gonna be coming back to. Like, fuck this, fuck this place. $300 Motel 6, get the fuck out of my face. We're gonna be going, I'ma search motherfucking the lowest income town in my, Wyoming and that's where we're going because that is where the hotel rooms are going to be cheap. Some of you motherfuckers said come to Jackson Hole. You're like go to Jackson Hole. It's fucking nice and we came here. There's nothing to fucking do here and it's all expensive as shit and there's a bunch of old people, dude. So whoever told me to come to Jackson Hole like you fucking you fucked me up, dude. <laughs> like honestly. It's the richest town. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Why you make me go to the richest motherfucking town? There's nothing to do here. A bunch of old people. What you talking about? You, I thought there'd be content here, bro. There's nothing. There's nothing here, dude. It's like a log. There's like a log cabin store and like a like canoes and shit, bro. So I think whoever told me to go here is just like they're fucking with us. Say an Indian reservation, a. Hey. I would like to, wherever that is. I mean, listen, we'll just play it by here, dude. Where are these burritos at? I know, I'm so hungry. I'm starving. We didn't eat, what is that, Steve? We didn't eat any dinner Tamarindo. last night. Tamarindo. A what? Tamarindo. Tamarindo? It's like, uh, you know those, like, jarritos? You know, those little, little Mexican little bottles? With that little jar? No. No? You know what that is? Nope. It's tamarind. Tamarindo. Banjo? No, no, no. Yo, real shit? Yeah. We didn't eat no dinner last night, did we? Did we eat dinner last night? Fuck, the only thing we ate was like fucking Slim Jims and like you ate some fucking fried cheese. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The only thing we ate yesterday was the McDonald's in the morning, right? Yeah. We had nothing to eat yesterday at all except just, yeah, Slim Jims and cheese. Fucking yeah, you didn't share your cheese. Let's gas station. Why room. would I share my cheese? Get your own I'm fucking so cheese. Hungry. Get your own cheese, it's $2. But we weren't next to a gas station. Why would you let Kimberly starve, you asshole? Because I don't want to starve. Bitch. It's, yo, survival of the fittest. I don't want to starve, you know, she should have bought food at the gas station. Right. 
You know, like I said, if I was if, stuck... If we were stranded, I would let Kimberly have my food, and I'll starve. If we were stranded, I think Paul would try to eat you. Like if we were stranded, no, I'm, I'm going to eat him first. I would eat you. I'm going to no, not. I don't got no meat, bro. You don't even know how to cook, bro. Bro, look at me. I don't got no meat in my bones. <laughs> I, I will eat you, Stevie G. <laughs> your nose has enough meat. <laughs> You're telling me you wouldn't let me eat your like arm or something? Like chop your arm off and me eat Fuck it? Fuck no. I'll eat you first. Damn. I'm going to make kebabs out of you. Damn, bro. <laughs> I don't think I have enough meat. I'm going to put like little chunks of meat on the stick. Damn, bro. And just like start cooking it. My nose on a stick. <laughs> make skewer. I don't think cartilage tastes that good. Would you eat an eyeball? I would eat an eyeball. I have eaten an eyeball. Really? But yeah. What? what kind know. of eyeball? Like a goat eyeball. Or some shit, I don't remember. What it tastes like? Shit. Like squishy. Juicy. But yo, if we were stuck on an island, Kimberly, 100% you would be starving. I would eat everything. 100%. I don't be stuck on an island with you. I'm not the type to share if we're stuck on an island, bro. I'm 100% eating all the food. If you guys are like, let's ration the food, as soon as you go to sleep, I'm eating all of it. We would kill you first. And then, no, because I would kill you after I'm done eating all the food. Yeah, but you wouldn't have time then to I'd eat you. Then I'd eat you. You wouldn't have time to eat all the food, we'd kill you. I, you'd be sleeping. We don't trust you. You'd be sleeping, bro. You'd be who goes to sleep and they think they're gonna die? Nah, who, why would you think that? I feel safe, you know? I'd be like, I'm not gonna kill you guys, eat you guys. Nah, it's all I'm gonna good. throw you in a hole and you're gonna have to like find a way out. <laughs> nah, bro, I'm gonna throw you in a fucking hole. I'm gonna put a little box trap up, like a <laughs> stick. I'm gonna put like some underneath. You're gonna be, you're gonna go underneath. I'm gonna pull the, the string, bro. You're then, way too lazy to make I'm, I'm gonna trap you under a box, DVD. I'm gonna put amaranth stream under the box and you'll fucking go oh, under Oh no, there. my only weakness. You think I'm too lazy to put a fucking stick underneath a box with a string? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, who's gonna pop on that shit? <laughs> mm. Yeah, where the food at? I don't know. Risk it is coming, bro. Out, They're making it. They're cooking it. Works in cartoons. That's what I'm saying, Luna. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta. The cartoons, it, it all comes from somewhere, bro. Yeah. That man stars his girlfriend only on a haunted island, bro. Or a deserted island, dude. Hey, look how good this looks. Hey. What do we got? Oh, yeah, that's looking solid. That is a hearty breakfast right there, boys. Hell yeah. We got some. Egg and tacos and oh yeah. Beans with chorizo. Torizos and shit, dude. Oh hell yeah. We got some what we got here. We got some like so we got some cheese. We got some applesauce and we got a burrito. Let's go. Alright, good hearty breakfast to go hiking with. Let's let's fucking go. Oh, that's not applesauce, that's beans. Did you say applesauce? You don't. And that's rice. That's a balky. Yeah, I thought that was, I don't know, I didn't know what it was. Is that good? Is that one of the last ones? Oh, no. I need to make sure I eat all of this food so I have the calories and the energy to go hiking. Otherwise, I'm fucked. This is I ordered a fried thing. What, did you, what is that? I don't know. I thought it was just a shrimp taco. Is that, you don't like it or?
still wish, bro, imagine smoking weed and going into the hot springs. That'd be crazy, dude. That'd be so nice. More than two bites, bro. I'm really, I'm really almost full right now, but I gotta eat the whole thing. I'm really, I'm not gonna be two bites, bro. I need calories or we're gonna have a bad time hiking. shoes I just have sandals I can hike with sandals bro it's fine I'm not worried about it I don't want to buy shoes like I'm not like I don't need shoes bro I'm never gonna use them it's fine I like sandals like I can hike with I've hiked with sandals before it's fine my feet aren't gonna hurt that bad we can drive up most of the mountains you know, we're not going to be hiking up mountains that crazy, like that bad. And you know what? Back in the day, Native Americans, you know, the cavemen, you know, Middle Ages, shit like that, bro. They all had sandals, dude. They were made of straw. And so if they can do it, then so can I. I mean, I'm not a fucking bitch, dude. I did. Did I hike? I didn't hike Mount Fuji with sandals, bro. No, I had shoes on. But they were like... They were really shitty shoes, and they were like, they had holes in them and shit. So if I could do that, I could hike fucking Yellowstone with sandals, bro. Let's be real, Ice is gonna get out of the car, shuffle around for 15 minutes, say fuck it dude, and leave. Bro, you really think we drove 23 hours to say, to shuffle around 15 minutes, say fuck it dude, and leave? 23 hours of driving, do you really think that? Listen, bro, I really climbed a, mount, a mountain in Japan, okay? Get the fuck out of my face. I climbed a mountain in Hawaii. I climbed a mountain in Alaska. We climbed a mountain in Iceland, okay? I climbed a mountain across the globe. So, who the fuck are you to talk? Don't worry about me. I'm gonna make sure we climb a mountain in Yellowstone. All that's missing is uh, the Himalayans. I wanna climb K2. You know K2? Yeah, it's the one in fucking, like, Southeast Asia. The most dangerous mountain in the world. Fuck that. I'm gonna climb that before Everest. And I'm gonna succeed, and then I'm gonna climb Everest. It'll be easy. I better, swear to God. Better have, How like, long does it take to climb it? Uh, like, I don't know, 10 days. I think you're wrong. What? Everest? I think it takes way more than 10 days. You better have that fucking jetpack cheat code, man, because you're gonna need that. Chad, how long does it take to climb Mount Everest? It's like, it's I'm like, pretty sure it takes people months, right? No, not months. It takes them like a week. It's like 10 days. But I could probably climb it in like a day. Cause I'm, Shut the fuck up. I swear to God. Or maybe, I'm just kidding. I mean, maybe not a day, but I will suck your toe, Sponge. Vaping while climbing? When I climbed Mount Fuji, a fucking dude offered me a cigarette. I smoked cigarettes on top of Mount Fuji with some dude. And so, I mean, it's fine, bro. Don't even worry. Two months? No, it doesn't. It's like seven days. So I thought it takes months. It's like seven or like ten days or something, bro. Does it really yeah, take two sure months? Wrong. It takes months. To climb Everest? Two yeah. months? Don't people have jobs? Like, what the fuck? How do you go two months without phone service? Mm. A burrito relax. You also have to get, like, adjusted as you climb. As long as I hire a Sherpa, I think I'll be able to climb it. You can only go in groups. You can't go alone anyways. Well, I'm going to hire a Sherpa. I don't think you know much about climbing. No, I know a lot. I'm going to hire a Sherpa, and I'm going to have them guide me. A private Sherpa, not in a group. Me and him. We're going to climb the fucking mountain. He's going to bring me to the top. I'm going to bring my food, my oxygen, my drinks, and, you know, a tent. And we're going to get to the top, bro. It's fine. Wait, what you mean? You don't think I can do it, Kimberly? I think you can, not in 10 days. Yeah, no. You're gonna freeze, you're gonna fall, you're gonna be like, fuck this shit, and just like jump off. No, I'm not gonna <laughs> jump off. Yo, why do people die on Everest? They die because they come unprepared. But if I bring food, and I bring oxygen, and the stuff I need, I'll be fine, bro. It's all right, Yellow Rose. 
There's no chat on the screen, though. Like, people die because they're unprepared and they run out of supplies. Well, either, either you're going to die there or spend $50,000 for a, a thermo suit. What is that? A thermo suit. It, it gives your body its own fucking little, little comp compression, like your own, your own little, your own little uh, oxygen. Like you don't feel the high altitude pressure and the. I could just buy an astronaut suit. Okay, that's that, you can't even buy that. That's like fucking five hundred thousand dollars. All right. Well, <clears throat> I'm sure. Yeah, something. I mean, people are saying there's avalanches and pro climbers die. And they use bodies as markers and blah, blah, blah. Dude, these people died because they came unprepared, dude. They ran out of supplies. Trust me, I know this shit. If you bring, your, if you bring food, let's say I break my leg on Everest, right? And I can't move anymore. As long as I have enough food for a Sherpa to come and carry me down, then I'll be, we'll be Gucci, bro. Like there's no reason to die if you have food. What about an avalanche? If an avalanche happens, then I will die. But why would an avalanche happen? That's unlikely. As long as no one's making loud noise. Avalanches don't happen from loud noise, dude. How do they happen? I've seen it in the cartoons, actually. It's also just like weather. Like sometimes it just happens. Uh, see it, the phobia. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could always just smoke crack. That keeps my, that, that'll keep my body warm. <laughs> The, the crack will nah. keep my body nice and You're warm. You're gonna freeze to death, dude. Uh huh. You freeze in minutes, not if I'm wearing a suit. Like a fucking. You yeah. have to wear a thermo suit. I wear a thermo suit, like Stevie said. Alright, after, after this conversation, you're never climbing in the mountain. Yeah, you have, I've no, climbed you four, have no idea. I've climbed four mountains in my life. Four huge mountains. How many have you climbed? You can't tell me. Then, then do it in. Do mountains that you can do in like a day or two. Don't do. The big long ones. I don't think you're prepared. I've done four mountains that I can do in a day. And yeah, keep doing those. Those are your specialty. You're really good. It's about to be five. You're gonna be like knocked the fuck out of form of like a goat or something. <laughs> God, no, bro, goats don't go. Goats don't live on Mount Everest, dude. <laughs> it's hot in here. You know what? When Starlink comes out, I'm climbing Mount Everest with no training. Let's go. I swear, I'm gonna prove to everyone that we can do it no. with, without with no training. No. When Elon Musk releases Starlink, I swear, I swear, we're going to fucking Everest. I'm gonna prove to the world that you can climb this shit with no training. Easy. I'm gonna hire a Sherpa because I don't know where to go, and I'm gonna follow his ass up the mountain. It'll take me two months, and you know what? That'll be great and Gucci because I'll. Because TTS will be on. So he's going to tell you to climb this thing and then you fall off and then he's going to go back service. down. No, I said Starlink. Oh, okay. From Elon Musk. We'll have service. We'll have TTS on. $5 media. Let's go. Up the fucking mountain, dude. I'm ready for this shit. I'm ready. I'm Next year, bro, when it comes out, I'm telling you. You're going to be hearing gator skin at the top of the mountain. Bro, we <laughs> gator skin at the top of the mountain. Like, let's fucking go, dude. I don't give a fuck. It'll be amazing. I'll be the only streamer. I'll be the first and only person to climb Everest on fucking stream. And then everyone can be like, yo, I want to do that, but then they're going to fucking die doing it because they're pussies. I seen the, the one on Discovery Channel, the guy that did it. They climbed it? Yeah. That dude's face was so red. From climbing? No, it's just from like, from like, like sunburn and like frostbite. And he was wearing like a mask. And well. His, and his face was still red somehow. If I die on stream from climbing the mountain, you know how they leave the bodies at Everest? Cool. Yeah, you're, you're gonna be like a death marker. If I die on Everest, at least people can come see me if they want. Like a, like a viewer, they'll be like, let's go see Ice Beside And They come to the fucking Everest and then, oh, there's his dead body. You feel me? Like they can like- You're gonna be like a frozen popsicle. Yeah, or I don't know, but I'm not gonna die, bro. I'm gonna bring a CX flag and put it on the top of the mountain. I'm telling you, bro, I'm telling you. That's what, that's what motherfuckers said about Mount Fuji. They're like, you or, ain't gonna climb this? I climbed that bitch in 24 hours. I climbed that bitch in 24 hours. No sleep, fucking through a thunderstorm, fucking rain, lightning, thunder. Motherfuckers, I got kicked by a Japanese dude on top of the mountain because it was raining, it was freezing, I had no jacket, I was cold. I had almost fucking got, I almost got frostbite. And you know what? I tried to go inside this building because I was freezing. This dude kicked me, literally in my chest, this yeah, Japanese yeah. dude. 
and he told me to fuck off. Damn. So if I can survive all that, I swear to God, bro, I can go up motherfucking Everest. What you should do is get on a flight on a plane or something and like just parachute to Mount Everest and just skip the whole climb. Yo, there yeah. you go. <laughs> I don't do airplanes go that high? No, not really. It's too high. That's what I'm saying, bro. But I mean, fuck I can't it. jump out of an airliner. They go too fast and helicopters don't fly that high. And just figure out some plane that can high altitude or some shit. A U2 spy plane. <laughs> jump off of it. No, those go too fast, bro. <laughs> yeah. No, I need not. like a weather balloon to take me up and then I jump. Yeah, there you go. See? It's like a weather balloon. But that takes the fun out of it. But then I gotta climb down. But then all, you, all climbing. Oh, shit, you're right. You're right. I gotta climb. Oh, let's take no, 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 no. Just parachute again out. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. Take a fucking wingsuit and just wingsuit out of it. I don't think it's. I don't think it's very like. Uh, I don't think it's a straight drop down. I think the mountain is like. It's think, a giant slope. Yeah. I don't think you can wingsuit. Maybe. That'd be crazy. Wingsuiting off that would be insane. No one's ever done it because the the altitude is just too high. You get no air air speed. You're just gonna start like. You're you're, you're too light, and you just fall straight down. Nah, I'll figure it out. Mount Fuji is a gentle slope. Old people walk it. Listen, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I did see a group of old people climbing it, but it's still hard. Like, it's not an easy climb, bro. It took forever, and it's fucking hard, dude. And it's like, you had to climb rocks and shit. Yeah, I had to climb fucking, like, like boulders and shit, dude. Like, on my four, like, hands and feet, dude. All right, let's go. Let's start the drive, bro, before it gets too late. It's already 10. It's a three-hour drive. Finish your burrito. Get there by one. And, you know, we got the whole day to do fucking, you know, I don't know, like, yellow, yellow rose shit, dude, or Yellowstone shit. Yeah, my, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm full, dude. It's all good. Don't worry about it. I ate most of it. Jesus Christ. As long as I have coffee and caffeine. Can I have another coffee? Where's she at? Um, I'll be Gucci. It's not two bites. I had like 40 bites, dude. Yo, Cook Limes with a Ninja Guinea. Take this. Yo, shout out to Cook Limes with a Ninja Fucking guinea, son. Thank you so much for that. Shout out to you, homie. That's gonna motivate me to suck your cock in the hot springs. Let's go. Yo, Stevie G. Yo. You excited for the hot? You ever been to the hot spring? No. Bro, they're so nice. It's like mountains. Burn my skin. It's gonna burn a little bit, but it's gonna. Fuck. But there's there's an area. At least when I was in Iceland, there was an area where the hot springs mixes with cold water, and you and if you stand. Dude, what if we dive into like some fucking like I don't know poisonous fucking like I don't know volcanic CO two fucking pool, and you just boil yourself alive? Well, that's why you gotta stick your foot in first and feel it. All right, I'm gonna throw you in first so you can test the water and then tell me it's all right. But mo most, <laughs> I will. I'll test it. I don't care. Most hot springs have a cold area, so where it mixes, the cold water mixes with the hot water, and you can sit in the middle, and it feels really nice. Like, cold and hot mixed together, it feels really nice. Right. And then you have mountains everywhere, and deer and shit, and, like, I'm scared of the wild berries. Like, so fucking, like, 80 feet deep or some shit. No, it's not. They're, they're, like, five, they're, not, they're like, four feet, dude. Okay, hot springs are, like, right. very not deep at all. Because they come from a geyser underneath the earth. Shit. There is a, there is a... <laughs> No, no, you don't got to worry about that. But what can happen, though, is you get sucked under because the water, it, it filters itself. It, could, it, it, could, swallows it swallows you. It sucks you under. You and then block. you boil alive underneath the earth. Damn. I'm just kidding. That doesn't happen. Yo, thank you, True Blue. Appreciate the Ninja Gini as well. Motherfucker, two Ninja Ginis. Let's go. Thank you, True Blue. Thank you guys. Appreciate that so Who's much. Who's going to be the first to donate a ninja? Let's go. Yo, where'd my ninjets at? I know, I, yo, nin, ninja, drop a ninja. ninja Ginis are cool. Where's those jets at, though? N like, for real. Gang shit. What's up? I don't have my time. Yo, neither do I. What's up? No, real shit. That's crazy. Thank you, guys. No, but there's also wild berries. We could eat wild blackberries. Wild, ah, fuck that. No, wild no. strawberries and shit. Fuck that shit, dude. What if you accidentally eat, like, a poisonous thorn or some shit? Uh, like, no, you gotta... If it looked like a blackberry, it was like, oh, that's a blackberry. You could eat it. You just... you just If someone told you to not eat this forbidden fruit, you're just gonna be you're just gonna eat it. <laughs> I mean, I'll eat it. If God told me don't eat that forbidden fruit, i fucking eat it. Because that shit's probably good as fuck. It was apples. Apples are not that good, though, so I probably wouldn't eat them. I'd be like, all right, God. Jesus. Strange rumblings being felt at Yellowstone. Yeah, right, buddy. <laughs> yeah, right, buddy. 
Uh, just the worst thing that could happen is since there's been fires for the past like week in Yellowstone, we could get caught in a forest fire. But you know what to do? Drop, stop, and roll. Or stop, drop, and roll. And that's how you get no, rid of you a fire. Drive the other way. What? You drive the other way. We did not drive 23 hours to drive the other way. We saw a fire. We gotta go just through it. Okay. Yeah, let's just you, you ever alive. seen? You ever seen a Truman Show? You can just go right through the fire with the car. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then you see on TV, some motherfucker just shoots himself, and he just looks still alive. What you mean? He shoots himself. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? It has 700 retweets. Yo, Kim's Kim's tweet did really good. I made a funny tweet. Everyone likes it. It, had, it has 5,000 likes on it. I spent. 45 minutes yesterday trying to make a funny tweet and so I'm really happy because it worked. It was the one where it's like when it was Squidward looking out the window to Spongebob and Patrick and it's like when you die first in Among Us, like that's it's pretty good. It's pretty funny. I had nothing better to do in the car. Oh, I want more coffee and then we're good. We're good. I'm gonna finish your burrito. Is that cool? Yeah, that's fine. I was thinking for a sec, but that's fine. I'm probably gonna eat again when we get to Yellowstone. I eat very small increments of food at a time. Like, I, I, I can't eat large amounts of food. We need to bring you like a bag of dog food then. No, like a little, like a Slim Jim or something, dude. I can't eat, like my stomach is small, so I can't eat a large amount of food at a time. I have to eat like motherfucking ass like six times a day a small increment. Like, that's my thing, bro. Fried. I tried to like eat around it. You, oh, you, I thought you said you wanted fried, no? No, I don't like fried stuff. <laughs> Alright, excuse me. Hello. Disculpa, ¿no puede traer la panta? No más ahí, esperamos ahí. Okay. Did you say more coffee? Uh, nos puede traer otro café. Thank you. What did you, you tell her? Oh, I thought, I thought like, well, how do, like, if we can get the check or whatever, so we can just wait over there. Oh, okay. Yeah, Steve, you don't even need to buy food when we go out. Just wait for me to stop eating. Yeah, good. It's a great way to save money. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanks. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> Damn, bro, you really just put the whole burrito in here. Bro, you really just put that, you, you ate that shit whole, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, they didn't give us a ton of food. No, they gave us a lot of food, what do you mean? I, 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 so. I had a lot, thank you. Thank you. You ever seen the video of the dog? It's called uh, Dog Eats Burrito in One Second. It's a very viral video on YouTube. No, but it sounds funny. Yeah, that's, that's what that just reminded me of. The dog slurped that burrito up real quick. Like, bro, it would probably take me three hours to eat that. I don't know how you finish that so quick. Because you eat like a beach. Yeah, I mean, I take small little bites. Like, it's true. <laughs> like, I'm like a little rabbit, but yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't eat, man. I devour. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Janessa. I know you, you seem to have a crush on me. How you doing? Don't look at me while you say that. Don't worry. I don't, it's just a viewer. All right. I'm going to finish this coffee, and then I guess uh, is everyone ready? Yeah. Shit, hopefully there's internet along the way, but I, I know there won't be. Yay, that way we could just go back and turn around, go home. Trust me, you're <laughs> gonna wanna see this, Stevie G. You're gonna wanna see Yellowstone, bro. I've never I, seen I do, I do, yeah, yeah. Neither, no, none of us have ever seen this shit, so we, we need to see it. Sure, I'll open the chest, bro. 
100 fucking lemons, let's go. Boom. Where my winner's at. Do a hunting stream. I'm not much of a hunter, and I think it's against TOS on all platforms to go kill animals. Although maybe if it's like a rabbit, it's not a big deal, but I don't know. <clears throat> I wish hunting was allowed. I would do that. Yeah, I think hunting's not allowed because it's, it's like there's like a gray area, you know? I know, uh, animal cruelty, PETA, fucking. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. It's hot. Let's, let me see the, uh, let me get some cold air. It's not hot, you're just oh, that it's, oh, I bet it feels, it's nice and cold. Oh yeah, looking, look at this. Oh, it looks good out here. Oh, look at that. It looks so nice, doesn't it? And er, excuse me, everything's made out of wood. Look at this. Wood, everything, bro. Every building is made out of wood. Did you split the bill? Yeah, yeah. Alrighty. to Yellowstone now. Old Faithful, baby. Fucking three hours of driving. Let's go. No big deal. Put that down here. Put this over here. The uh, coffee's sitting real nicely in my stomach. We're ready. Here, plug in my phone. All right. Uh, got you. What do we got here? Text, music, media, web. Oh, that's how I add. That's how you add sources. Okay. The heater's on. You can put the heater. Is it really that cold, Kimberly? Thank you for that gifted sub, homie. Thank you, D-Fox. Um, fuck. What is it? Alright, what, where do we go? Like... Type in Old old Faithful. Okay, Old What's Faithful. What's an Old Faithful? Old Faithful is the biggest geyser in America. And it shoots super high in the, in the sky, bro. Ooh. And there's a volcano near it, and the hot springs are close to it, and you know, gang shit. You, that's like, that's, Old Faithful's also the, the main attraction. Like, I'm pretty sure, so... We can just start there. And then just, you know, go hiking and shit. Elsewhere around there, so... Okay. I'm probably not gonna wear the jacket when I go hiking, because I feel like I'm gonna get fucking, like, hot, dude. Old Faithful's the biggest squirter in the world. Is it biggest in the world, or biggest in... the United States of America? 
<laughs> the biggest squirter. <laughs> it might be the biggest in the whole United States of America. Or no, the biggest in the world, I mean. I don't know. I saw some big ones in Iceland, bro. Iceland had some big motherfucking geysers, dude. And those motherfuckers, they shot so high up in the sky. Your hair finally looks good, man. Yo, thank you, bro. I try. Let me show you guys the nice uh, picturesque nature. Jackson Hole. Man, look at this shit. It's so cold. Look at that mountain. That, that's nothing compared to Yellowstone, apparently. It's like rivers and shit. See, were you really tired last night? Yeah, I was, yeah. You fell asleep while I was streaming. Yeah, it was like, hey, ASMR, help me sleep. Camera's inverted. Uh, is that a problem? I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? <laughs> Get bear spray? Now nah, we're fine. We don't need no fucking bear spray. I do got something that can repair bears, but you know, it can get pretty loud. Right. <laughs> I can't wait, dude. I've waited my, my ass when it farts. <laughs> It'll scare the bear away. <laughs> That'll scare anything away. Stevie, I've waited my whole life to get to Yellowstone, and we're finally gonna make it. Yeah. I've always, I've always asked my parents. I swear to God, if I see a giant mushroom cloud, like fucking, like a giant firestorm, like. Why would you see that? I don't know. I asked my parents when I was younger to take me to Yellowstone, and they said no. Oh. Okay. Wait, so this is like your childhood, like dream? Yeah, and then I wanted to go to Yellowstone a few years ago on stream, and my viewers said no. Wow. So. Now's the time, Stevie, and we're gonna experience it together with you. And, and I'm glad to be part of it. Feel honored. The drive is three hours. Three old, good old hours. That's not bad, we'll be there by like one o'clock. Sorry, it's 10 right now, so we'll be there at one. Look, I got a pretty good amount of sleep. I don't feel that tired. I think I went to sleep at like midnight. I think I was. I actually fell asleep at midnight. I tried to go to sleep at 11, but fell asleep at midnight. Woke up at 7 or 8. What did we wake up? 8? Eight? 8. Woke up at I 8. I woke up at 8. You woke up at 9. I woke up at 9 or something. Yeah, woke up at 9, so about 9 hours of sleep. I tried to talk to you. Yeah, don't talk to me when I'm sleeping. Do you remember my dream? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Want me to say it on stream? You want to. Kimberly had a dream where her fucking cousin got acid thrown on her, and then Kimberly, like... Uh, like a burglar broke in her house and shoved the scissors up her nose and murdered her. Well, I woke up before he did again. Why do you just stream driving? Who wants to see this? Honestly, your mama. That's who. What you mean? Don't fucking judge me. Listen, bro, we're going to fucking Yellowstone. I'm gonna stream that, motherfucker. Don't judge me. I'm trying to get lemons over here, Miranda Cosgrove, you catfish. <laughs> I used to have a crush on Miranda Cosgrove. Nah, come on, bro. Miranda Cosgrove? Nah, compared to Ariana Grande? Come on, bro. Before <clears throat> before she was on Nickelodeon. Now, who was that chick that did Vic <clears throat> that, Who was the chick on Victorious? That, she was fucking Victoria hot. Justice. She was, Justice. She was fucking hot, dude. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't really a fan of her. You know, I also liked Amanda Bynes. She was fucking hot. But I looked up Amanda Bynes, like, recently, and she got, like, she went bad, bro. She went south. I don't know what's wrong with her. She got, like, face tats and, like, shit. Like, like I don't know, bro. Amanda Bynes looking like a straight crackhead nowadays. I don't know what's up with her. And it sucks because she was so hot. Uh, yeah, Amanda Bynes is, like, she's like a, a Hillary Duff, you know, like, on crack and shit. Which I don't know, I don't get how you get like that, dude. When you are when you got money and you're famous, I just don't get how you get like that. I mean, I guess I kind of get it. When you got money at a young yeah, age. Yeah, when you're a kid and famous, it's different. It, it like messes up with you. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if I, if I was a millionaire when I was 16, I probably would have taken like Xanax and shit. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, when I, was, <laughs> when I was 16, I was like into experimenting with drugs. So I probably would have taken like Xanax and like all this shit and then maybe went down a bad rabbit hole or something. So I, I guess I get how people get like that, but, you know, 
now that I'm older, I would never do that, that shit. But yeah, I think fame as a kid could, can possibly ruin your entire life. It happened to uh, the one dude from Home Alone. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, his fucking life went out of control as well. You dig? I never took drugs. Well, I was never addicted to drugs, bro. I've taken some drugs, but I've never been addicted to drugs. I've never had drugs control my life. <laughs> By oh, drugs, I've, I've taken like Adderall, dude. Yeah, it feel it's super nice over here. The mountains look good. Look Makes really you nice. wish I had a fucking dirt bike or like a four wheeler just shred that would through. Be so cool. yeah, I hope uh, Macaulay's good now. Oh, you want a bike? Yeah, we should rent like a dirt bike or a bike or something. Dirt bike? Yeah. I see people hauling their dune buggies. You know, the little four wheeler, the one that's like, like passengers can sit on it. That shit, like a Polaris or like a fucking. Yeah, I, I don't know about it. I mean, you guys can get a dirt bike. I'm scared of bikes, bro. Stop being a bitch. If I, I will, I will probably crash. And I also, won't. I don't have health insurance. It's not smart. You won't crash if you're not dumb. I mean, I don't know, dude. If I go like down a, hey, let's get a normal bike. down a hill, motherfucker, I'm gonna crash and uh, I ain't going to the hospital. I think the more safer option is like a four wheeler. Then there's just no way you can fuck up on that unless you're dumb and try to like hit a fucking slope and go over and shit. Yeah. Normal bike, yeah. Or what about a can? What if we get like a raft and go rafting in like a river? They got like that, honestly, insane. that could be more dangerous than a bike. <laughs> How's rafting dangerous? No, I'm not saying down like a. a we're not. We don't have to go down a rapids fucking river, dude. Just like a, a calm river. Yo, yo, look at this view. Oh yeah. my god. I know. It look, it looks good. Probably doesn't look that good on stream, but it looks fairly good to us. Wow. This is uh, not, it's not your first time seeing mountains, right? This is sort of my first time, yeah. I've been to LA and Colorado, so like, but this is an actual mountain. mountain. Oh yeah, Kimberly, you can't swim, that's right. But we get you life jackets, bro. We'll go down the Calm River. How about that? And we can paddle down the Calm River. Wouldn't that sound fun? Yeah, with a life jacket. With a life jacket and maybe a lifeguard as well. I could swim. I'm certified. Oh yeah, you're a, you're a lifeguard. So like, I could I could save I could save Kimberly, but not you though. Wow. Yeah, that's right. CBG was a fireman. That's that's true. You could save Kimberly. Riding in the mountains. Yeah. Okay. What? I what? mean, that'd be fun, but very expensive. It sounds like. Calm River, that's what I'm talking about. See that, I mean that's a pretty, that, that, that's got a little bit of a current, but it's not bad, right? I mean, they're gonna have some currents. Don't be scared of the water. Water's, water's fun. Water's not a scary thing. Dirt bikes aren't scary. Dirt bikes go fast, and you crash and die, they're scary. You can't, if you crash into water, you're not gonna get hurt. jacket bro come on don't lag on me we got fucking full bars don't lag on me dude doesn't this view look amazing chat I know it's pixely, but doesn't the view look amazing? You can hit a rock in water? Come on, dude, we're not gonna hit rocks. We're not playing Minecraft, dude. Minecraft is a popular game, so maybe, maybe we are. Get that clickbait. How much 
you guys think it is it's gonna be to like rent a raft or something? Not too bad, right? Thing is, how the fuck are we gonna like take it? What do you mean? Like, how are we gonna get it? Like, take it to where we need to get it? I think we can just rent a raft on the river. I think they have rafts at the rivers, probably. Oh. I would assume they do. Eighty a person? Nah, come on. Five hundred dollars? Come on, dude. About to go to Walmart get our own fucking raft, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How are we gonna take it though? We, I mean, we'll just put it in the back. How's yeah. it gonna fit in the back? It's a big van. What you mean? We'll just shove it in. Yeah, then I'm fucking Kimberly's gonna be like bumping her head in it. Nah, she can sit on my lap or something. <laughs> Where are you at? Also, won't you be in Yellow? We are in Jackson Hole right now. We're gonna be at Yellowstone in three hours. Good old out. Three old hours. Turn on media. It does we don't have media on D Live? But when I go to Jack's General Store. Uh huh, a general store, huh? Do they have fucking pots and hammers and stuff there? Hey. Man, bro, what the fuck is a general store, dude? I guess they sell general things, like a gas station. When you see, when you see a place saying that it has a general store, man, we're really out here. Yo, Catalepsy, I got you, bro. He sent us rafting information. Catalepsy's been very helpful. He's been sending me so much stuff the past couple days that have been very helpful. Like uh, information about hotels and stuff. Thank you, Tay Tay. Damn, man, this is so. Fuck, man. I wish I could, like, go hunting. It reminds me of Texas, just no mountains. That's it. Part of Texas where I go to, it's the same like this, except all flat, no uh, mountains. With trees and stuff? Yeah, with trees and shit like that. No ski lodges though, like, like that, like, like. Cabins are like more like areas where like, it snows and shit. Yeah, I don't think it's Cape Cod. I think it's more like, uh, like Eskimo. Dude, Eskimo is like fucking. Hotel six, one hundred and ninety four dollars. Two night super, two hundred and twenty. Damn, that's crazy, bro. Nah, it's all it's all good though, whatever. We'll figure it out, Cook Limes, thank you. Should have came to Jackson Hole in the winter. It's all good. I would love to be here in the winter, yeah. Rent, rent a fucking 4x4 Jeep, hell yeah. It would be fun. Our elevation is pretty high. We're going up as well, I can feel it. I thought the elevation would be low, but now we're 6,000 feet up. That's crazy. I think I'm, I'm used to breathing by now. I can breathe now, like just fine. I'm used to breathing now. When we were in Colorado, it was so hard to breathe, but we're like higher now than we were in Colorado. was not borrowed, Ryan. I, uh, they gave it to me for free, dude. Yo, if there's bugs in Motel 6, that's fine. I'll take bed bugs and not spend $400 again. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I bet if we get bed bugs and spend $400, that'd be some dog shit. I think, uh, I don't know Tampa. Yeah, is it effing chat or is it 
honest, this app buffering the stream and effing, it adapts the bitrate. There's like shitty internet. <laughs>